Hello friends, how's everybody doing? This is your friend Jeff playing Ultimate General Civil War BG difficulty and the JMP test mod of T10 uh, Okay, so uh, we're in a CSA campaign um, I could just show you my first core real quick My second core is not much because I move stuff around My third core is you know, cherry pick some units. And then this is the core that's going to go into the battle on uh, Long Street. I need to try to get him to his second uh, perk. These are the 12 units that will be in the battle. Uh, you know, these ones were came from different units, obviously. And I still have some units right over here. Now, everybody sitting in the camp will get some training. We have 80,000 here. We... We're doing pretty good as far as this. We're up to 73, and we got a morale boost of 8. I might consider uh, burning one of these and getting getting the guns. Because, you know what I mean, um, we're, get, we're, get, you know, we're getting close to 100. So, I mean, we got to be careful of that to not go over 100, because then it's just wasted. I can just briefly show you the armory. I mean, it, it looks pretty good. Uh, you know, I got quite a bit. And artillery, like, I only buy this gun, I only buy these four guns, are the only guns that I buy. And as far as skirmishers, um, this is the gun that I buy, the TS, that's about it. As far as the barracks goes. Uh, yeah, we do have a couple, oh, I'll probably buy these guys eventually. You can see my officer pool is pretty good. I mean, I've been buying these guys all along, so. Hey, and I even got this guy right here. Uh, do I have any, any core that is missing? Yeah, right here. Oh, I think I got him out because I move I move officers around to um, get the core training, like whatever. Maybe that's probably what, so. Maybe he was one of the guys here or something. So I I I think I need him to 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 punch him out to put him wherever. Or I I don't know. I can't remember because I. I play both campaigns, so I'll just cancel that. Okay, sorry. I play two campaigns, so I get confused on what I'm doing. But I believe the battle that we're going to do is first Franklin. So you can see it's we're on the high side of scaling. 21 on training and 36 on armory. We do have one that says minus 5 enemy army size. So I think first uh, Franklin is what we need to do. So let's go ahead and get into it. And I believe it should be this one that goes in. We should have 12 here. Yeah, okay. So 11 against 6. Let's see what happens. Okay, so... Hmm. All right, so on this one, on the UI mod, I I believe I always go over to the, this way to do this. So maybe I will attempt the same thing and see how it goes with the J and P. So again, it just means that I'm gonna stack my units over here, I guess. So I do have eight infantry, and I believe these guns are in the battle. So they can get experience. I think all, all these units that I put need to get experience. Um, I might have been better off bringing in the longer distance guns because of this, but 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try, and we'll do it this way, so... And as always, I pause... And I'll just break the first line for skirmishers, and I will go ahead and save the game. Now, as you can see here, I've been doing the, uh, the Union campaign, but now I'm back into the CSA, so the South. And I believe that this is... 24. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say 24. I hope it is the 24th battle. Because <laughs> if not, uh, I'm gonna screw my sequence up. But that's how you get confused when you play both campaigns at the same time. So, but anyways, okay. So we're gonna say that this is the 24th battle. If it ain't, then I'll have to rename it or do something. I don't know. But okay. So um, I I I believe. We we head this way, I believe. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, and the skirmisher can move up. Yeah, I, I don't think. Yeah, I I don't recall. Yeah, I don't think I do attack this way because their guns would be their infantry's here. Um, we got to try to punch in this way, I believe. Now I'm hoping, you know. Uh, JMP might have uh, changed this up where it's going to make it harder for someone to do this particular strategy, but I, I don't know, so I'm just going to go ahead and give it a shot and see. That's all I can do. Because like I said, um, I don't have any experience in this particular mod. So everybody has to kind of go this way. And the supply can move and so can Long Street. Let's go. Hope I can get you to your third perk. Capture Union Camp is what we gotta do. But we have to have sight. So, so if, as soon as you hear a cannon shoot, then you know that they see us. And I got my Colt 60 Cav, two stars. But we gotta see. Brought my sniper with me. And we gotta just individually tell everybody to move because if you send them as a group, they move to the slowest. And I might have did that at the start, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And that should be it. Um, see the map right here. So yeah, so in the UI mod, we usually get up here and we try to, you know, work our way and we even try to get up here and then come down and then they have reinforcements that come in and we try to cut them off. And then after we do that, then we come over here and we try to push these guys out and work towards this flag here. Now, I don't know if that strategy Let's tell you to shoot at him for a moment. Yeah, so we're actually... We need to head up there. Sometimes they have a skirmisher over here, so I don't want my... Well, matter of fact, this isn't my sniper. This is the infield pattern. Oh, yep, see? I knew there would be a skirmisher in there. Darn it. 
Alright, well, okay, get in there, boys. This 24, get over there. This ordinance over here. My Calvary up there. Long Street, move up. Supplies. Oh, their gun is shooting at him. Now, I could send my cavalry to go get him, but I don't know what else is going to be up there at the moment. So right now, the biggest thing we got to do is, is just get, get all the infantry up here, because... That's what's gonna really do good is once we get our infantry up here. shoot him. You continue to shoot him. Because once the infantry gets up there, we'll push him out of here. But, but we'll make him think that we're attacking him and we're still going to maneuver up to here. A long way for us to go, I'll tell you. A long way for us to go. Hey, now, what the heck are you doing? What are you doing? I did not tell you to do that. I hate that when the skirmishers do that. You. Get over here. You should be able to shoot him with your... You got a 500 range here, man. You don't need to be right up on top of him. Alright. We'd go right there, then. Get in the... Yeah, I already lost 10 guys on him. 11. Alright. Okay, Sully right there. Go there. Alright, so the way I look at this, uh, like I said, their guns are going to be the one that hurts us the most, I'll tell you. But I want weed to get right there. Those round, this guy sends rounds way over here, like, wow.
Okay, so what I am trying to do here is make it seem like we're we're in this area attacking. So these two have got to take the brunt or whatever it is that they're going to throw at us. While we still try to work our guys up here. I mean, it's vital that I get my units up here. I don't know where that skirmisher went, so we're gonna have to try to find him. Try this now. I gotta have these guys shoot at their gun. One guy up here now. Like I said, I do not know if this is going to be just like the UI mod. So I don't know. But like I said, I know they. I know they. They get a a, a re reinforcement wave. So it's usually cavalry. But I'm thinking uh, these four units should be enough. To work these guys out of here. And then we can move our we can move our guns up. Trying to cover the area here now. Okay, now I need these guys to be shooting at that gun right there. Okay, now you get over here, my friend. You get right there. You get right here. Now you shoot at him.
Oh yeah, and I got my cab. Let's get the cab up here. See what we're trying to do here is to try to push these guys out of here. And I'm keeping my my skirmisher shooting at their gun there. It's tough pushing skirmishes away, I'll tell you. Alright, now if I can just get the 24 right there. Okay, now I would imagine once this 24 opens up and this ordinance, I would think that this unit would just leave. I mean, I've got... I mean, I, I can't imagine you taking, you know, the brunt of these guns right here if they can fire. See, he's he's okay. So he just dissolved. And now, with my twenty-four pounder shooting him, it's routing him. I don't necessarily want to trip the flag too early, but 
Nonetheless, we gotta work on these guys. Where's my cat? Now we know something spawned up here. I saw a supply wagon. So we're gonna go up here to see if we can get it. Now we might run into a bunch of cab up here. Well, I can't believe we can't... There it is. So I don't I don't know where their cavalry went, but I their supply wagon popped in. Alright, so I know I'm only using half my army right now, the other half is up here because I, like I said, if you play the UI mod, I know they get a lot of cav up here. Maybe they spawned in at a different place. Well, I, I, if he, if he's gonna stay there, I'll let my guys shoot at him. We might kill him, and then my, my sniper, which, like I said, you know, he doesn't have the sniper rifle, but he has the infield. But he can still shoot 500 yards or whatever. But. Um, Yeah, let's take a look. Okay, so they they lost some guns. What I want to know is where is all their cavalry that they usually have?
I mean, I'm okay with killing their general if I can. I mean, <laughs> seriously. said we will we'll do this I guess I mean okay let me see if I get my cab over here maybe we'll see because they I, I, that would be kind of weird if they did not um, spawn the cab that they're supposed to have I mean I'm basing all my I'm basing all my knowledge on the UI mod or the base game, so... Oh, and he wants to charge us. Got that skirmisher right there. Okay, so my cab stole their supply wagon. And because we already took the flag... This is crap. Hey, I'm wondering if they spawned in skirmishers instead of... Yeah. Alright, so we lost a good bit of cav, but... We wiped out one of their, we got two supply wagons and we wiped out one of their infantry units. But we did take some losses. Yeah, I, like I said, I...
I'm afraid to move all these guys because of the simple fact that they, you know what I mean? Like, oh, if they don't, if they don't have cavalry, I mean, like I'll only find out at the end of this battle. But I'll tell you what, they must have let them have skirmishers. You get over here. You get over there. You come over here. You over there. You over here. And you over here for now. Okay, I'm gonna just give this up. I mean, so see how JMP changed this in a way? But. I'm gonna move these you over here. You over here. So I got my cav here, I got these two coming. So yeah, we're just gonna go over here and see what's going on because this battle from what I remember about this. Okay, yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay, there it is. Cav right there. Okay. Found them. Okay, here they come. Yep, so they do come. Alright. Alright, so you over here and you up there. Yep. I, I, yeah, see, I knew they get cav. This guy here, he'll go there. I mean, honestly, with three infantry, I would think that'll be enough because they're all go they're gonna go off that way. Yeah, the, the one thing you gotta remember when you target somebody, if they lose sight, they stop. And they don't go where you want them to go. I want you over there, I want you right there, and you need to get right there.
right, so now we can put the 24 on him and the ordinance can get somewhere over here. See how we just pushed them out. Alright, now this guy found this one, so now he can shoot him. There. This guy, Boyle, I'm going to have to just tell him to uh, double time because he's taken forever to get up here. I want him to get some shots off while this guy is still alive. I mean, it's not my fault that they withdrew to the corner, you know. So this guy's shooting at that skirmisher. His job is to shoot and kill that one. And then we took over where they were and now we have the ordnance here and we have the 24 pounder. Yeah, so they had they had four they had quite a bit of cavalry units. Like I, I, I knew that they got cavalry, I just didn't know at what time do they come in. And usually the cavalry is a little bit more aggressive than just retreating to the corner here. So, you know, it's like shooting fish in a barrel, but it's, you know, whatever. I mean, there's times when the, I'll, I'll just mention, there are times when the AI will pursue you to a point where, you know, they destroy you. you know, so, so this is kind of like, you know, my revenge for when those things happen to me. Uh, like I'm able to isolate and do this to these guys. Because that's the limitation of this game with borders, you know what I mean? <laughs> like It's not like an open world where it could possibly go a long way. But Nonetheless, you know, our guys are going to get some experience, and that's all good. Now, I'm going to send these guys up in the corner there, because I don't know if those, those units got destroyed or not. So I would say overall most of the units got some experience.
Yeah, I don't... I don't think... I don't think that's gonna work. One of them surrendered, but then, because there's other units there, touched them. So it's okay. I don't mind. I don't. I don't necessarily have to have prisoners. I can just get the kills. Depends on what guns these guys had, too. All right. So I think that's it. All right. All right, we're just coming over here because we don't want them to come around this way to come get the flag. Get in there. Let's see. Suppose I suppose I shut off the guns for a minute. All right, so I'll back out my uh, skirmisher and I'll send in him. Yeah, I don't want him to get too many losses. I mean, he is a two-star unit. All right, now you go over there, and uh, you come on back to here, I guess. You go right there. I believe. I believe he just he just uh, disbanded. I guess. Um, and we wiped out their their cavalry. Now, I guess what we could do for the remaining hour is we probably can come and pursue these guys. I mean, that would be the only thing to do. Okay, I have to go over here. Long Street down here, I guess. Because, yeah, they're going to be content to just sit it out, I think, is what it is. And we do... We do want to you know, wipe them out. So let's go ahead and go down. And I guess he's dead, so you, you can come on down this way. All right, let's go. Go a little bit faster, seeing this is um, kind of, you know, boring, I guess. Okay. All right, we found one, so we can shoot him. All right, so you guys shoot him. You over here for that one and that one. You over here for that one. Now 
now you open up. And now you open up. All right, well, we didn't see him before, so now we see him. This guy go in on him. The gun went off and I was going to charge him. Oh well. Yeah, it's all going to... It's all gonna get blurred up right here because we're just gonna go charge them because we can. And look at him, he's gonna shoot his six shooter. He's gonna shoot a six shooter and that's it. Okay, so <laughs> at least I got him to shoot a six shooter for a little while. Oh man. Alright, well, looks like, like I said, it looks a little off balance, but like I said, I, I don't understand the scale in, in this JP T10, so we're just gonna keep on going as it is, I guess. Oh. Now, I didn't know that I had. I didn't know that I had a captain in this battle. That's a little confusing whenever I see that. But, hey, and James Longstreet got Major General. That's what we wanted to do. So, all right, that worked. Nice. Nice. All right, let's move on. All right, it is what it is. Okay, so it looks like I got a wipe of them, and that is that. So our first core is A-OK. -okay. Our second core has been depleted because we put them elsewhere. And this core here and Longstreet. So Longstreet finally got his, his perk. So he's got accuracy. Now, I've got tactics, infantry, and leader. Now, Johnson has speed, cavalry, and attacker. Robert Lee has accuracy, artillery, and attacker. So Longstreet has accuracy, and should I give him... Hmm. Yeah, I'll give him Calvary. Alright. And it looks like we got ourselves a two-star unit and another two-star unit. 
So that is all good. We have 1,200 recruit veterans, I mean. So can we get back to 1,250 without losing anything? All right, so I think the goal was to get uh, these guys were really close to getting uh, a two-star, and so and so they did, and uh, that is all good. So if you look at this core here, right? I've got all two-star units or three-star units. I can't believe it. We even have a sum over here. So maybe these so maybe these two now that they're two stars they can go back into no not this one. They can go back into third core. And that will give me that. So that gives me, uh, you know, three, three here. And so therefore, um, okay, so now what we want to do is with the remaining uh, veterans, we want to at least get to full strength. So I didn't even lose any on the guns. The, the cav. Yeah, see. Oh no, this is not the cab. This is a skirmisher. So we go to 250. Now let's see if we have. Now we don't have enough. Okay, so I got him. I got him back to what he was. Now. Let's see how many we lost. We lost only 25. Oh. All right, so I can get him to 400. Now let's get these guys back to where they would be. So yeah, so even though that battle was relatively easy uh, considering of me not totally understanding how this scaling is working in this particular T10 uh, JP mod, but um, I can get everybody back to full strength with the veterans. Then I'd have to say, you know, you know, I'm kind of pleased with that. Now, as far as the career goes, with economy but uh, I'll put one there I know one probably doesn't do much I, I need another point there but there is another upcoming battle coming so we'll go ahead and put that there for now and so I believe my my goal I think was to give experience to the these guys and then anybody that was close they, they became a two star. And 
And, and that's kind of like the goal is to try to get any one star to two stars. Like, okay, so he's two, 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 but him, he's getting close. Oh, and this, and King is really close. So let's go ahead and see uh, Rio Hill. Oh, Rio Hill. Yeah, this one's a tough one. But, again, the numbers seem low. Like I said, I don't understand the scaling, but... We, okay, so we need 10, but... Okay, so we just need 10 units, and... Alright, so you see that my guy is 3, this one is 3... And he's three. And now he got two. So I'm wondering if I could do the fourth core to try to get him to two. So then what I want to do, I guess, if I can use Rio to... to like, this guy is to... Okay, so... Let me take these guys out of here for now. And I'm going to just put them with Longstreet for now. And I'm going to look at this core and, and put this one in Rio. So, he's at... 75 ah but this guy is at 91 all right so then he's he's got to go Yeah, but some of these guys, that, that might be too long of a way to go. All right, so maybe that one. Maybe this guy. Yeah, so this guy's the furthest out. So we got four units. So again, uh, is Rio is Rio defensive or offensive? Oh yeah, it's defensive. Okay, so it's kind of like defensive. So then. Should I see if I can get Campbell? in it I need five more units should I put in my my best sniper gosh See, and this is why sometimes when I'm planning this, I don't show this, because, you know, um, just like I have the Lamont here, like, I could put in the Lamont.
Yeah, so I have two Lamonts, actually. Look. He's got the Lamont, too. Wow. Alright, so you know what? I'm gonna put him in. That way I won't risk the Lamont. So I'll put him in. And so should I put him back in? Oh, and if we have recruits, can I bump him up? Yes, sir. Can I bump him up to 350? And so he'll be my skirmish. And if I just go with one gun... Maybe these two. Now, let's see here for just a minute. Sully is only one battle, but it's but it's Croft. Yeah, sometimes the game injures somebody, puts in a supplement officer, and then the medicine cures the guy, and then we can put him back into his original unit. Unless that guy died. But I don't, I don't see him here. So I'll have to cancel that. So it looks like we lost Sully. All right, we just need one more unit and then we'll be good to go. All right, folks, that's what I'm gonna do right here is this 10 for that next battle, so that's all that I'm going to do. Um, you can see we've got a 10 boost. So if I buy... Yeah, boost is now four, so I bought those rifles, so we'll have some of those rifles. Because we're going to gain some more rep in this next battle and stuff, so... Okay, that's about max that I'm going to do. So we're going to end it right here, no matter where you are in the world. Have a great day, great afternoon, great evening. Please take care of yourself, be kind to others. God bless to you and your own religion. It's your friend Jeff signing out. Adios amigos and adios, the lovely amigas. <laughs>